Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today I get to share with you some new items over at Spellbinders. It's part of the Happy Harvest Collection by Nicole Spohr. There's more to this collection, but today I'm gonna to share a couple cards using two items. The stamp set goes with so many pieces of the collection, um, including the die set. The stamp set's called Fall, Fall Greetings. We'll be using that for our cards today. And then the die set is pretty amazing. It is called Wagon Full of Fall, and it creates this cute little wagon, and then there's lots of elements that you could put in the wagon. So to, there's pumpkins and um, all kinds of gourds. There's even little hay guys that's just adorable. There are a, a sunflower or a flower in the die set, and there's also an apple. So today I thought instead of creating a um, pumpkin card, I thought maybe we'd make it a cart full of apples and a cart full of flowers. Um, to create our wagon, it's very easy. I have some timber colored cardstock for my wagon base. Some greens here, all three of the greens from Spellbinders Color Essentials. We'll use that with the little hay piece and also the fall leaf. Um, and then there's a flower leaf in there too. Um, we're gonna create some flowers using reds. I have poppy field and then pomegranate and then also some yellow and teal colors for the flowers. The apples I used the uh, pomegranate and uh, poppy fields too. So I, I went ahead and die cut everything out guys and now to create your apples it's very easy to do. Um, I die cut out two with the different colors of, of red but then one um, also with white cardstock. This way I can color in my stem and my leaf using my Copic markers. Um, there's a little leaf piece that you can insert and then um, it's itty bitty and if you guys don't want to fuss with the itty bitty um, stem and then the leaf um, there's an alternate way that you can add that to your apples. Um, so I'll show you both ways. I colored it in with E35 was my stem and then the greens that I used for my leaves were G46, that's the darkest shade, and then G43 is the lightest shade. Now, if you don't want to fuss with that little piece, just snip off the leaf that you die cut out on your red apple and then all you have to do is take that red apple and, and add that right on top of your colored in apple. So that's one alternative. Or you could just color in the, the little um, leaf and stem, which I don't mind doing, and then you can adhere it directly to your apple. So either or, um, it's actually fast if you wanna create lots of apples, and that's what I wanna do. I'm gonna create a dozen apples, six of each color. So doing this will actually benefit because you can create two leaves at the same time. <laughs> so there, I'll create more off camera. I'll spare you the, the redundancy. Um, to create the wagon is very easy. I, I die cut out the wood portion, and so I thought we would do a little bit of distressing using some oxide inks. This is frayed burlap. I'm just using my finger dauber and lightly going over the edges. This actually is really nice because there is some wood grain um, etch detail in here, emboss detail, and so when you go over it with your embossing powder, it really makes it stand out. You'll see in the close-ups. So I did that, and then I also die cut out some little hay, this is the cutest, little hay, hay pieces. Um, I die cut out six of them. We're gonna use those, we're gonna make two cards with two carts, so we're gonna spread these out between the two. But I wanted to add a little bit of shading using the same frayed burlap with those. And of course, you could use some golden tones for hay if you wanted to. Now, you don't, when you glue your cart together, don't glue the top, that's an open area. Just basically, glue the bottom lines that I'm doing here and then keep it upside down and then take your wood piece and just lay it right on top lining up the corners to corner and it works out perfectly you can see that open area that's where you're going to tuck all your your elements in but creating it's super easy it's just two pieces actually there's a few more you got to create your wheel um, and then this piece that I added on the inside of the wagon, it just die cuts on oval. So you don't have to put it on the inside of, of the wagon to die cut it out. I did that because my cardstock was short, but um, it just creates an oval for sentiments because there's some sentiments in the fall greeting stamp set that will fit in there. Um, 
so we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna show you a different way to, to use that oval too it's, I wanted to create a little something um, for one of my cards but I'm gonna go ahead and add my wheels I die cut out four of them I wasn't sure if I could um, one of them if I needed three or four so I die cut it out four of them and then you just punch out the spoke parts of it and then there's a little curved like a C shape that you would add to your tire you just add a little bead of glued on the end and then you can add your tire um, and it gives it a lot of de uh, definition just by adding that little curve if you don't want to add this little curve piece you could use your Copic marker because the tire does have um, embossed details just tells you where to put that so that makes it really nice I'm gonna add my wheel or my tire to all of them and I'm gonna start off I, I'm gonna start off creating three and if I think I need one more I have extras so that's good okay now there is the inside of the tire here um, it's a little donut shape I'm gonna dot the centers of the wheel and then we're gonna go ahead and pick up our little and you know don't dot <laughs> don't you guys don't dot the center because it's a donut obviously if you dot the center with glue you're not gonna glue nothing glue the spokes not the center <laughs> and I don't think we need um, a donut for our our wheel that goes in, in the background to attach them it's super easy if you wanted to use a brad you very well could I think that would be adorable just um, use the donut hole as a guide and just connect it to your cart that way or you could just glue it down like I'm doing here okay I went ahead and add my third wheel I don't think we need a fourth wheel so that's good now to attach these little hay pieces um, they look kind of funny when you die cut them but when you add them to the cart it just makes so much sense you see how it just makes it look fluffy <laughs> um, I die cut it out with my portobello cardstock and I did die cut it out with all three shades of green cardstock that Spellbinders has um, to emulate kind of grass too because this one's going to be for my apples and I wanted a little bit more filling for my apples so, so this works out great I'm going to continue just adding my grass and my hay to my cart and then I brought in the rest of my apples here now I'm figuring out how I'm going to attach my apples what would be easiest um, and I think if I added a piece of tape behind my wagon it's going to serve kind of a, a dual purpose I can actually tuck my apples in there it's going to keep them stationary and then it's also giving me a landing area if I want to pop some up so I just added the small piece of tape we're going to do a little tucking I, tapes nice because you can um, this is the spellbinders best ever craft tape <laughs> and it um, gives you room to where you could still do some tucking which is really nice I'm just kind of filling my basket creating a mound of them and I do want to leave a couple extra outside of the mound this way we can put them next to the wagon but I love the way this looks I think it looks so fun okay we're gonna flip this over now when I flipped it over my basket or my I keep, did I call it a basket I meant uh, uh, my wagon but my wagon looked like it was empty but I wanted it to look like it's full it, it would be cute red wagon guys <laughs> so I just I cut out another one of these pieces using my pomegranate cardstock and I'm gonna fill in the areas that you can kind of see through the wagon by shifting this little piece up a little bit this way you can see the red behind and so it looks like a full basket filled I called it a basket again a full wagon um, filled with apples okay so I think that looks so fun and we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna um, stamp our sentiment I'm stamping it um, on the inside of my oval you could do this before or after um, before will probably give you a little bit more room um, I actually tape my oval to some cardstock so I could um, heat emboss with white embossing powder that way I don't burn my fingers you could use your tweezers but there's not too much room in there I stamped happy harvest and then we're gonna melt that embossing powder and then I'm going to take this little oval and I die cut out one more of my handles guys 
this could go right and it's meant to fit right in front of your um, your wagon which I think is genius um, but I die cut out one more handle and I want to put my happy harvest on the end of the handle so we have a little craft pick so you have another option here too if you want a, um, a little pick for your wagon this makes a great little pick because it kind of um, narrows down at the very bottom which I'm gonna chop off because it's a little too long <laughs> but little craft little craft pick for your wagons cute too okay so wagons almost done I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to another wagon but this one we're gonna fill with a whole bunch of different flowers I used the teal family of the color essential cardstock and then the yellows also the beeswax and then I have uh, saffron I believe I'm slowly learning my colors and then the reds again are pomegranate and poppy field but I'm just kind of mix and matching them um, they kind of look like sunflowers so if you want to create yellow sunflowers you could do that but I wanted a kind of a fall colored uh, floral wagon I went, to, went ahead and add my um, my hay and also my green grassy to my bath my wagon and I'm, I did the same thing. I'm going to add some tape behind it. This way I can build up my flowers to create a mound. Um, some of them I'm, I'm popping up and some of them I'm not. When I die cut out my leaves, I also die cut out some of the small flower leaves with those same three colored cardstock pieces. For my background, we're going to fill it in with some blue cardstock or teal colored cardstock just again shifting it up a little bit so you can't see that open area behind it and that is where I have one flower left but I wasn't happy with the color I think we're gonna die cut out one more blue um, a teal with a teal instead of that teal with a red so I didn't add that last flower okay for my background we I have a piece of cardstock this is um, actually the alabaster cardstock I trimmed it down to four inches by five and a quarter we're gonna make a portrait or landscape style card first so I took my sunburst stencil I have a pixie spray behind it and I'm adding the same frayed burlap that we added to our wagon and I'm just doing some some flicking motions with it I don't want to go all the way to the end I do want some of that cream colored cardstock showing and I'm not worried about the bottom because we're going to cover that but I just wanted a little bit of something in the background now I'm happy with this turn the way this turned out I'm going to bring in some wood grain pattern paper I just went through my six by six paper pads and found this I'm going to trim down a one inch strip and then we'll use the tape runner and adhere a strip to the very bottom of this panel now when you create your wagons guys um, depending on if you want it portrait or landscape style is is where you position your handle of the wagon um, if you position your handle of the wagon lower then it will fit on a um, landscape style card now if you want it to fit on a portrait style card scoot that handle um, so it's more um, vertical for today, instead of using a white card base, I'm using my Portobello um, cardstock. I just took a full sheet, scored it at the five and a half inch mark, and then reinforced that score line. And then we'll put this in the paper trimmer and trim it at the four and a quarter inch mark. This is going to give me two basically craft colored card bases, and that's what we're going to use for both projects today. Okay next I'm gonna go ahead and take some natural colored twine and wrap it around the seam of my panel here we're gonna the bows end up ending up all the way to the right this way um, we can add our wagon we'll just tie our bow and then put that on our card base um, and then we're gonna pop up our wagon with our flowers just add some foam adhesive behind there now I still have my little container of leaves I thought we should place this on our panel first and then add the leaves later because this way I can add some leaves in the background to give it a little more dimension once we have our, wa our flower wagon filled here I'm gonna go ahead 
and add my last flower that I created with my blue, my teal colored cardstock. And then we're gonna fill our wagon in with our leftover hay pieces and also our leftover leaves, just doing a little tucking, making it a little bit bigger. Once we have this done, I went ahead and stamped my sentiment on another one of my oval circles. Um, this one says Happy Fall, and I heat embossed it with white embossing powder. We're gonna put this one on our wagon, kind of filling it in, kind of making it a just because card. Okay, we're gonna work on our apple card. I'm gonna create a background using another piece of the wood grain pattern paper. We're gonna adhere this to our card base. It's slightly smaller, so I have some of that portobello cardstock showing. Next, we have a piece of vellum. I'm gonna fishtail the very end, and then I'll pop this up and place this in the center of our card base. Now, the circle here, I used my sunburst stencil and use the circle die and just cut out the, the center. So I thought it would be a good landing for my sentiment, which is grateful for you. I stamped that with black ink. And then I went ahead and popped up my, my apple cart, my apple wagon, um, and then added my little happy harvest pick there. We're gonna do a little tucking with our leftover apples. I did it, pop those up with some foam adhesive and I just love how autumn-y this feels. <laughs> I am gonna add a little sparkle with some color essential gems. I'm actually gonna use three different kinds. We're gonna use red for the apple cart, and then I'll use my teal for my flower cart, and then um, I am gonna bring in my gold mix for the center of my wagon wheels. This way we have a little sparkle on them too. I used the darkest shade in the, the gold mix. Um, and the third smallest actually fit perfectly in the center of those wagon wheels. I'm gonna do a little highlighting with my white gel pen, um, just adding little white dots over the dotted detail in the center of the flowers. And then I also added little highlights to my apples in the, in the highlight area of those. I did decide to add a little bit of natural twine on my apple cart card. And then that finishes off my project today, guys, using the new Spellbinders Happy Harvest Collection. I hope you get a chance to check it out. It's pretty fabulous. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.